Dress rehearsal for the kids of Faith's Place is a very serious business. They're not professionals, but their instructors expect them to give it their all, whether acting, dancing, singing, or playing an instrument. Most of these young people probably won't go on to performing arts careers, but some may, and if they do, they'll have to keep on working hard, as their violin teacher, 29-year-old professional musician Gareth Johnson, can tell them. Hopefully, what comes out of this is people recognize talent. Johnson is among several musicians who volunteer their time to teach here. The son of two doctors, Johnson says that growing up he never had to borrow instruments or struggle to pay for lessons, things that are out of reach for most of the kids participating in programs at the center. Growing up, I'd pay two, three hundred dollars an hour for some lessons like this. While they're teaching, Johnson and the other instructors use a combination of encouragement, empathy, she has a different mouthpiece. And tough love. But most of all, they try to inspire their students. And there is perhaps nothing more inspiring than talented musicians who are already racking up accomplishments, even though they're still in high school. Like 17-year-old Kavana Shuford and 14-year-old Cameron Williams, who are already teaching here. Since I'm young myself, I'm, I'm able to pass on what I know to these kids in a way that they can understand and it really helps them grow. The teen musicians could spend their free time doing other things, but they feel that what they're doing here is just too important. Studies have shown that the arts has uh, improved test scores, so I feel that every student should have that opportunity. Me being African American as well as a female and a violist is all just things you don't see every single day. So my mom tells me to take everything that I have and make sure I can broadcast it to whoever I can. And their contribution does not go unnoticed. Our students are so blessed to have you here with them. Not because they're brown children, and you know what I mean, but because they're children and they really need this outlet. The fact that you're willingly coming to the hood to do this means a lot. And I believe you're going to be blessed bountifully. And so these performers are learning from each other, growing up together, and most likely never forgetting it. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for TV 18.